What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech, and in this video I'm gonna show you all the awesome products that you can get for your Google Home and the Echo Dot. I have a battery base for my Google Home, and it tells you the battery life right here. So this is the battery base for the Google Home. You just simply line up the power port right here. Of course, you have to take off the outer shell, and then you just line it up with that plug right here that you see, and it magnetically connects. Then you take your existing Google Home power adapter and plug it into here. Do not use any other power adapter. Really awesome. Definitely, if you have a Google Home, this is a must. The company that makes the battery base for the Google Home is called 97. I'll leave links in the video description below. For the Amazon Echo, this is the Eagle Tech. This one is really neat. Let me go ahead and remove it. There we go. So this one, you plug in right here in the power, and you just plug it into your Amazon Echo right there, and then you slide it in, and it's like a little rubber grip like that, and it stays on pretty good, see? But of course, when you move it around, you wanna hold it from the base end here, and you know what's cool about this one is that you can actually charge your phone. So let's say you wanna to listen to your music out in the back patio. Well, you could do that and charge your phone. It has a little USB port in the back. Plug that in. Whether you have iPhone charger or you know Android charger, it doesn't matter. And just plug it into your phone. It'll start charging your phone. And then to, of course, the power or charge the battery base is you just plug it in right here. Make sure you use the Amazon Echo power adapter. Don't use any other power adapter because you could fry this thing. And then you, there's a little on and off switch if you have to you know, use it. Looks like the battery is about low. So I have to charge it soon. The next one I'm gonna show you is the Google Home battery base. Let's go ahead and open this one up. This one is very new. So let's take everything out. And I'm gonna show you how to set it up. Peel off the 3M tape cover. So I'm gonna slap it onto here, right here. I'm gonna leave that little reset. You don't wanna cover the reset right here. This is how you reset the Google Home. Here's the charging cable. I'm not gonna need that because we have the Google Home charging cable. Remove this. This is a non-skid pad right here. And we're gonna plug it in just like that. So you can still have access to the mute, as you can see and we're gonna plug it in. So we're gonna line up the power right here and then just simply plug it in just like that. There we go. There we go. Has a little battery fuel gauge right there. And should, this should give you hours of battery life. So the next one is probably my favorite because not only that it's a battery base, it's actually an amplifier with a speaker built in. So let's go ahead and open this one up. And this one I'm most excited about. This was um, $29 on Prime Day, normally $50. Once again, I'll leave links in the video description below where to get all these items. Uh, this one is made by 97. Uh, the same company that made the battery base for the Google Home speaker. And this is basically, you just plug in your Amazon Echo Dot on the top and then plug it into the speaker, battery base. So this is a combo unit. But right here, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the Amazon Echo Dot. So the only thing you have to do is just slide it in, line it up right here. All right, so let's go ahead and plug everything in. That's one, and then now we're gonna plug in the speaker right into the aux port, and then cover this up. There we go. And then you wanna turn it on, press and hold to turn that on. And if it's solid blue, that means it is on. See? And this is a aux port if you wanna plug it into your amplifier. You wanna use the Amazon Echo power adapter to plug it into the battery base to charge the battery base. And this will give you hours of battery life. The only one that actually amplifies the sound um, out of all the battery bases is the Vox. All right, let's test it out. 
max volume. All right, let's go ahead and test it out. Play my relaxing playlist. Your playlist, my relaxing playlist. <laughs> right now, in Tampa, Florida, it's 80 degrees. Tonight, expect a low of 78 degrees. It's pretty loud. Google, what is um, today's temperature? Tonight in the Pebble Creek, expect a temperature of 78. So basically the Amazon Echo Dot now is just as loud as the Google Home. If you know anyone that has a Google Home or a Google Home Mini or Amazon Echo or Echo Dot that may find this video really helpful, go ahead and click on the share button below and share this video to them, help someone out. And if you wanna subscribe to Tampa Tech for more how-to videos like this, click on the subscribe link right here or the subscribe button down below. If you wanna check out my other Google Home and Amazon Echo, um, reviews, check out these playlist links right here, wherever they are. Thanks guys for watching. Bye. And if you want to check out my other Google Home and Amazon Echo, if you want to check out my other Google Home and Amazon, shut the f up. The mic is muted.